Denver 8 TV, your city, your source. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Captain Jaime Cafati of the Training Academy. On behalf of the Denver Sheriff's Department, we welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Deputy Sheriff's Class 2014-3. Deputy Friday. Class 2014-3. Ho! Class Mateo! Forward! Forward! Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, please rise for a presentation of colors of the Sheriff's of Farm Honor Guard. Honor Guard, present colors. Detail, button, hoop, hat trail arms, forward, hoop. Detail, halt, fall out. If everyone please remain standing for invocation of the Denver Sheriff's Department Chaplain, Pastor Jose Cannon. Pastor. <coughs> Let us bow, please. God Almighty, our Savior and King, you are the source of all wisdom and understanding. And so we are very thankful for all that you teach us each and every day. We are especially thankful for all that you've taught these men and women and their time of learning. The laughter, the camaraderie, the testing of their abilities. These are gifts which we are so very thankful. Today is a special day, a time of recognition of hard work and dreams realized. So we give you thanks that you have given these, your people, the integrity, the strength, and the character to make it this far. We give you thanks for their courage to follow their vision and to see it to fruition. It is also a stepping stone to the next stage of the fulfillment of their vision. And so, our Father, we ask for your power, we ask for your presence, and we ask for your blessing in this ceremony as we celebrate the achievements of these men and women we pray that all that is said and done will bring honor to you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, also please join me in welcoming a friend of the Denver Sheriff's Department. When he took office, he promised to deliver a world-class city where everyone matters. Likewise, he is committed in delivering a sheriff's office that all Denver residents can be proud of, can depend on, and ultimately restore public trust. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Mayor Michael Hancock. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. And let me welcome all of you, the family members, the friends, the loved ones of these 
uh, prospective graduates today of the Academy. Let me acknowledge as well the presence of Director of Safety, Stephanie O'Malley, and the leadership team of the Sheriff's Department. This is always a special occasion in the life of our city, and a special occasion in the life of the Sheriff's Department. I actually think was thinking that, that as I was just sitting here, how old and um, perennial the concept of sheriffs uh, have been in, our, in the life of our society. If you think about it, there were sheriffs before there was Kojak, before there was Starsky and Hutch, right? Before there were the blue, the men and women in blue, uh, in terms of our television shows that we grew up watching. We watched as Lone Ranger uh, served really as the sheriff. We watched as the, uh, what was the one show with the Hoffs in it? Um, Bonanza, see I knew some of you were old. Uh, Bonanza. So the concept of sheriffs is as old as this country. And today, my message to the deputies, prospective deputies, is, is really simple. Same message I give to the police department at their academy graduation. Today you take a sacred and solemn oath to serve and to protect the people of the city and county of Denver, Colorado. Today, you take an oath that is more sacred than even the oath that I take as mayor. People depend on you to take care of the detainees that are in your care, to administer justice when necessary, and to have a seamless and high standard for the execution of public safety next to none. Today, you receive a license to serve and protect, today you receive a license to, yes, exercise force when necessary to protect yourself and others. But it's a sacred oath. It's one in which we give you to exercise with care and with wisdom and with a great deal of understanding that there are very few who are called and who are administered such an oath. And so with that, a great deal is expected of you to exercise good judgment and excellence at all times. To the family members, to all of you, though you don't get to raise your right hand today, get to witness your loved one and friend, maybe a parent, raise their right hand. I don't think there is a more challenging job in the public sphere than what our sheriff deputies have to exercise. The fact that they are in a place with hundreds of people who don't want to be there every day for 8 to 12 hours at a time. It's a very challenging job. They're going to need you to provide that sanctuary, to provide that place, that respite, to provide for them that, 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 that break away from the confines of the detention facilities on the rigor, rigors of this job. You are to be commended in helping them get this far. But the real work begins now. To hold them up, to give them strength, to encourage them, to inspire them. And so the people of Denver owe you a great deal of gratitude and thanks as well. Uh, and we're going to depend on you just as much as we will depend on these men and women who are accepting the oath today and accepting the badge. And with it, a awesome responsibility to administer justice on both sides of the scale. So with that, on behalf of the people of Denver, I'm simply here to congratulate you, wish you well, and to know that today as you take that oath, our prayer for you is that the Lord, our Savior, will rain down upon you strength, protection, wisdom, and fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Task with overseeing the Denver Department of Safety. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Executive Director of Safety, the Honorable Ms. Stephanie O'Malley. So, I... Uh... 
always am pleased when the mayor has a conflict on his schedule where I don't have to follow him as a speaker because he's so prolific that um, I, I get a little nervous after I follow you, Mayor, and I hope that I can impart the same type of spirit and, and uh, message that you bring every time you speak to uh, particularly members of our community, our sheriff's department, all the members of the Department of Safety. But as the mayor articulated, um, today we are here to celebrate uh, the addition of 20 sheriff deputies who have committed to service before self. That commitment includes putting personal interest aside and serving the greater good first, a core value that strengthens our communities and affords the opportunity to, of course, make a difference. As you embark on a career of public service, you are charged with maintaining a safe and secure environment so that you can protect inmates, staff, visitors, and ultimately the community. But the job is much more than preventing disturbances and keeping everyone safe. <coughs> it's about maintaining high moral character and treating those in your care with dignity and respect, even on yours and their worst days. It's about using good judgment, communication, and interpersonal skills to assist you as you interact with various types of people from diverse backgrounds. And it's about effectively managing the personal, the physical, and emotional demands you will encounter on a daily basis. As you work with these challenging populations, from this point forward, you will also be in the public eye. Every action you take or don't take will be subject to scrutiny. As you interact with citizens, you are expected to use good judgment in all that you do and to, again, uphold the department's guiding principles. This is what is required from public servants. And if you follow your training and handle yourself with integrity, fairness, and compassion, I have no doubt that you will succeed as Denver Sheriff deputies. Please join me in congratulating our new deputies and their families in this great achievement. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this portion of the ceremony recognizes those recruits that excel in a number of skills, knowledge, and abilities. Uh, those are recruits that actually went beyond the mark and have uh, received special awards. I will ask uh, Sergeant Burris to join me the lectern for a presentation. Sergeant. <laughs> I have the honor of giving uh, the Top Gun Award. The Top Gun Award goes to uh, Stephen Pedrebron. Uh, the award I'm giving out is number one in physical fitness. Uh, this person excelled in push-ups, sit-ups, and a mile and a half run. Uh, Linus Kerbelis. Okay, so I get to present the most improved in physical fitness. This is the person who's improved from the beginning of the academy to the end in all their scores, which is the push-ups, sit-ups, um, also the running, uh, Maria Perez. I, I had the privilege of uh, giving the award to the number one recruit in defensive tactics, um, demonstrated in a practical examination, 20 techniques, and finished number one in this class was Adriana Roulard.
I have the privilege to present an award to the, main, the person that maintained an average of 94% on all written tests. This award goes to Eric Miller. It is my honor to award the valedictorian, who's not only the uh, top in academic, was top overall. That is also recruit Eric Miller. speaker to join me the lecture. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Anthony Guzman. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a great honor and privilege to be speaking to you all in front of class today. I would like to thank the Honorable Mayor Hancock and the Sheriff's staff for joining us today and celebrating this amazing achievement that we've achieved today. I also want to thank all of our family and friends, because without the tremendous amount of support from you all, this wouldn't have been possible. From the start of the academy, we've been surrounded by great individuals who have taught us what it truly means to be a deputy sheriff. We have spent countless hours in the classroom, studying a challenged curriculum, time on the mats, preparing for the fight of our lives, and days at the range, perfecting our, fire our firearms skills. We have been given the foundation to become Denver's finest deputy sheriffs. As law enforcement officers, we are given the duty to protect and serve our community. Today we will take an oath to live up to this duty, to complete this duty with honesty, integrity, and sensitivity. Today we will pin a badge on our chest, a badge that does not show power or authority, but instead symbolizes the duty to protect and serve. For 16 weeks, we have grown together as a family. We have been challenged both physically and mentally. Some challenges were exciting and were fun, and some, well, some left us with a recurring nightmare and that uncontrollable flinch whenever you hear OC, OC. Throughout this academy, we've been reminded of our class motto. Together we fall and together we stand. With every challenge we were given, we did it together as one. As a class, we never left anybody behind. Even when we were nervous, we took every obstacle head on and did it together. I'll never forget that we as a class, as a family, fought through this together. There are six amazing individuals who have made this academy truly what it is today. Deputy Fryer, your classes were always exciting, and even those dry ones. No matter how hard we tried, we were always ate up. And even though today we graduate, we still know we're not going to make it. <laughs> deputy Yamaguchi, you are the most tactical deputy of them all. We'll never forget how good you are at C4. And without that extra help after class, we will never pass that test. Deputy Kim, you always made us laugh in all of your classes. You are always nice to us when we got smoked, and we truly thank you for all of that. And Deputy St. Germain, you are the toughest deputy that we know, and we can only hope that one day we can hit as hard as you truly do. <laughs> Sergeant Burroughs, I still have a good story for you today, but like you said, this too shall pass. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Kafati, I want to thank you for putting together such an amazing academy. You have the best academy staff any class could ever ask for. 2014-3, we've done it and we finally made it. Because of our time spent here, we are finally ready. We leave here prepared to fulfill our duties as deputy sheriffs, 
with the highest standards of honesty and integrity. Thank you. Well said. Very nice. <clears throat> Thank you. This is time we have been waiting for. This is a presentation of the certificates and badges. Also, it has been a long-standing tradition within the Denver Sheriff's Department that if we have sworn personnel uh, for our loved ones who are present today, we'll ask them to come up here so they can present the badges for their loved ones. First row, stand. Right, place. Recruit Eric J. Miller. Recruit Kevin Magellan. Recruit Kevin Hocalico. Recruit Stephen Pedregon. Recruit Samson Yang. Recruit Maria Kearns. Recruit Maria Perez. <laughs> Recruit Daniel Winham. Recruit Anthony Guzman. <laughs> Recruit Timothy Schultz. Recruit Donald Ward. <laughs> Recruit Antonio Villagomez. Recruit Linas Carvelis.
recruit Adriana Rulard. Recruit Daniel Lang. Recruit Marcus Waltney. Recruit, Sharika Greider. <laughs> Recruit, Joseph Meritzer. Recruit Michael Pablo. <laughs> Recruit Dana Yarbrough. Denver 8 TV, your city, your source.